Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verses 22 to 23 and 30 to 31 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. The Lord formed me, me being wisdom, because that's who Solomon is speaking about in this particular portion of Proverbs. So it says there, the Lord formed me from the beginning, before he created anything else. I was appointed in ages past, at the very first, before the earth began. I was the architect at his side. I was his constant delight, rejoicing always in his presence. And how happy I was with the world he created. How I rejoiced with the human family. Family, if you go and read between verses 23 and 30, you will see that wisdom basically, it says there, wisdom was with God since the beginning, throughout everything he created and everything he set into motion around us, everything that we see. So wisdom was there from the beginning with God. Some translations even suggest that, you know, wisdom was like a child standing at God's side, literally watching him as he created things. Wisdom was there before we even read in the beginning in Genesis chapter one, family. Wisdom was there with the Lord. And I love the analogy of having the child there at his side kind of thing, because what does a child do? A child watches his father and, you know, those above him and those in authority over him and those who, you know, are wiser and more knowledgeable in years and stuff, children tend to watch the people that are older than them doing things and consequently they learn from them. And this can be a good thing and a bad thing in the worldly sense. But in this sense, I think it's just such a wonderful thing because the Lord is the wisest of the them all and he created wisdom wisdom was literally somebody i mean this proverb is literally referring to wisdom as a person it's not just something and god created wisdom and wisdom literally watched the lord create everything that we see everything that we feel everything that's going on around us wisdom watched god create that and as a child learns i believe wisdom learned as well and consequently wisdom grew and became more and became the very wisdom of god that we apply in our day to day lives in this day and age family you know we know the scripture so well that the beginning of wisdom is a fear of the lord so this very wisdom, the wisdom that was literally at God's side throughout the process of creating everything that we see around us is available to us. And the first step for us to receive it is a fear, a reverent respect for the Lord. The second we start having a relationship and a respect for the Lord family, it's the beginning of wisdom in our lives. And according to the book of James, if we ask the Lord for wisdom, we will surely receive it. It's something that he freely gives to us as his children. It's not something that he withholds from us because he's a good and loving father and he withholds no good thing from us because he loves us so much, family. And so God is a good and loving father, family, and he wants to give every good thing to us that's going to be good for our lives, family, including wisdom. And therefore, we have to choose to ask him for it. If you've got a relationship with the Lord, if you've got a fear of the Lord and a respect for the Lord, you've already got what you need to receive the wisdom. All you have to do now is ask and God will give you this wisdom that was with him from the beginning of creation. And I just love how it goes on there to say that wisdom was his constant delight, rejoicing always in his presence. Like a child, once again, wisdom was the Lord's delight. It was his delight to have created this wonderful thing that, you know, helped him create the heavens and the earth around us. It says there he was the architect. The wisdom was the architect at God's side while he was creating these things. And I just believe that this is such a beautiful analogy and, you know, really personifies the wisdom that we can receive and the, the beauty of the creation of it and how much wisdom loves God and how much God loves wisdom. And therefore, if God loves wisdom, wisdom loves God and we love God and God loves us. Therefore, it is something that he just wants us to receive, family. So I want to encourage you going forward to ask the Lord to impart this wisdom to you, to impart his wisdom through his word, through his teachings, through the personal revelation that he gives you through your relationship with him, family, as he continues to give you this wisdom, family, he will give you the tools and the knowledge that you need and the wisdom that you need to be able to go forward to fulfill the plans and purpose that he has for your lives, family. And as I've said so many times in the series, everything that we need in life is found in the perfect will of God, everything that we truly need. And if you want to walk in that perfect will of God, family, you need to receive God's wisdom. So I want to encourage you 
choose wisdom, family. Choose to receive it, choose to walk in it, and choose to allow God to impart it into you and impart it to others through you. Thank you, family. I hope that this message blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to make the special announcement. Family, as you can see with the list of episodes, we're currently in the 80s already. We're fast approaching episode 100. So I'm wanting to do something very special for episode 100. So I want to encourage you, if you've been listening to From Heaven at 7 for a while, or you've caught an episode here and then you've got a testimony that you would like to share of how From Heaven at 7 has blessed you or how it's encouraged you or how you've been able to apply it in your lives, I'd like to encourage you to please drop me a personal message either on my personal account or on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page or via email any means. Please drop me a message to say I've got a testimony or even in the comments below just to let me know that you've got a testimony so that I can get in touch with you so that I can get that testimony because I'd love to share it in the special video that I'm going to do just after the 100th edition family and if there's any questions as well that you have regarding from heaven at seven how I do it what I do it why I do it whatever it may be family I want to encourage you to also please send those questions and drop them in the comments send them through via email send them through via personal message whatever is most comfortable for you but I'd love to hear your questions I'd love to hear your testimonies and I'd like to feature them in the special clip that I'm going to do after episode 100 as a celebratory episode for achieving 100 episodes and we give God alone all the praise the glory and the adoration for every episode up to 100 and every episode beyond it thank you family before I end I'd just like to close in prayer father God we come to you in Jesus name Lord we thank you for this day that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it Lord we thank you for your wisdom that you've imparted to us Lord that is available to us Lord freely Lord if we choose to receive it Lord we pray Lord for each and every person myself included Lord that you will help us to walk in your wisdom Lord that you will help us to be bold enough to ask for your wisdom Lord that you freely give to us Lord and as we ask Lord we know you imparted to us we receive receive it, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, that you help us to walk forward in it, Lord, for your wisdom to manifest in our lives, to manifest in us and through us so that other people may also receive your good and godly wisdom, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful portion of scripture that just so perfectly personifies wisdom and the value and the importance and how dear you hold wisdom to you. And we give you, Lord, all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're going to do and accomplish in us and through us with your wisdom that you impart to us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.